Downtown Indianapolis is looking a little different tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Matt McCutcheon explains why the heart of downtown is now a little darker. Let her down easy. Gravity kind of takes over. Watching it comes down, just kind of that conclusion of that excitement and just start of the new year. Out on their morning jog, these two runners couldn't help but stop and watch. Sad to see it come down, but at the same time, it's kind of interesting watching it. Nearly 100 volunteers helped take down the festive display from both high above and, four. and down on the ground. There's excess slack. Lit nonstop since the day after Thanksgiving, the switch went off live during sunrise at 8 o'clock. Three, two, one, and there they go. The work then begins to take down all 56 strands. Tom Alexander offers support along with institutional knowledge. You see, he started volunteering in 1963, one year after this tradition started. It's in your blood. You've always done it. It's for the city. At 81 years old, he never misses an installation or tear down. I get the enjoyment to uh, see the light, light lit up and uh, see what they can do and make, make the city look better. He'll also tell you there's a special bond among the members of the IBEW who does this every year. He's passed that torch on to members like Mike Hunter. The first year I did this was in 1977. 38 years later, Mike's son also helps. It's always a lot more fun and more exciting putting the, the lights up going into Christmas. Now it's it's time to close the, another chapter uh, and kind of get on with the new year. As these 18-year-old lights come down, thoughts are already turning to putting them up again in 11 months, and there could be a new twist. The goal is to replace all of these strands of lights for next year. However, that's easier said than done. That's because the real challenge is actually right here at with the light bulbs themselves. Incandescent light bulbs have been used for many years now. However, LED technology is all the rage. However, that adds a challenge when it comes to both weight and longevity. It's pretty significant. And again, when you've got 4,784 lights and you calculate the difference, it ends up being almost two tons uh, more weight on the monument. Balancing that added weight from an LED is one issue, along with making sure they will be bright enough for this Hoosier tradition. The lighting of it is just such a cool event to go to um, and really kind of lights off the Christmas season and just that spirit of joy and uh, camaraderie of the city. Matt McCutcheon, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. The $500,000 fundraising campaign continues to replace the nearly 20-year-old lights. WTHR donated $100,000 and now the push is on to raise the rest. We have more information for you on WTHR.com.